so uh, we'll talk a little bit about um, the parts that we bought for the robot. Um, we initially give our uh, mentor a list, um, which he give us uh, a list in return of parts that were better suited for the robot. Um, but he wanted us to continue to do research on those parts, so we came up with our final list of parts, um, and we've started buying the main um, robot parts. Uh, with we're going to continue doing research on some of the auxiliary parts, such as the wireless charging and the um, solar panels. Uh, so with our professor, we sent him our uh, our final proposal that we turned in, so that he could look over and just you know make sure everything's right with that. We also sent him our calculations for our battery and our solar panels and our, uh, our charger to ensure that everything works, uh, as well as a schematic for the robot and with all the dimensions uh, for his approval. So, uh, so far we're, we're still on track. Hi, my name is Garrett and I'm going to be talking about some of the uh, power uh, requirements and calculations for our project. Uh, to start, our robot is going to use a S38 100 milliamp hour uh, battery. Uh, we had to upgrade uh, from our previous uh, size of 2,000 milliamp hours uh, because it wasn't giving us the, the runtime we needed. Uh, our motor stepper is going to be drawing about uh, 1.2 watts or 240 milliamp hours, and combining that with the LCD screen uh, and the uh, two motors, uh, that's going to give us a runtime of about 1.17 hours. Uh, off of a full battery charge. In, in order for us to recharge our robot's battery, we're going to be using two types of chargers, both uh, a wireless and solar. Uh, our wireless charger has the capability to charge our battery from empty to full in five hours, as it has a 600 milliamp max output. And the uh, solar, solar panel, the, they can combined charge the battery from empty to full in 16.6 .6 hours, they each have a 90 milliamp uh, max current output. So for our charging stations, we're going to be attempting to combine both the wireless and the solar uh, using both covered and uncovered charging spots to uh, test the difference in charge times. Um, from theoretical calculations, uh, our charging station in the sun utilizing both the wireless and the solar panels uh, will be able to charge the battery in 3.8 hours. Um, this could be a savings of roughly 24% in uh, charging time uh, uh, from a charging station in the sun versus a covered one. What we're looking for in the future, in the next upcoming semester, will be designing everything and putting everything together so that we can test the hardware and see where the faults come out to be. So every, for every error, we hope to find a solution, and we know that the debugging usually takes the longest time. And within that time, we can find a solution that's very useful. We also we want to look into ways that the robot can do smart recognition, so it can recognize the pattern of where it can go back to the charging station. And we're hoping to use a camera that is already being used in a vacuum machine. And then we also want to look into more wireless charging methods to increase the efficiency of our project.